Hello from the European Parliament in Brussels. We're starting off in my office here, then we're going to have a little stroll round. I'll show you some of the things and some of the sites and tell you uh, where we're up to uh, with the work here and with the Brexit discussions as we understand it whilst I'm going round. But I thought it might be interesting for people to actually see a little bit about uh, the place and the Parliament and what we've got. Uh, so as we're walking through now, we're coming out of the corridor from our office, a libertarian flag flying proudly there. All along here, if you look down there, that's row upon row of MEPs offices. There are literally hundreds of them and offices separately for the staff, all highly resourced. As many of them with showers in meeting rooms attached and so on. Uh, we're going to walk out onto the main concourse on floor three, which is, yes, it's the main area of this parliament. Um, below, there's a shopping mall area with hairdressers and all sorts of uh, requirements for the, uh, the elite, the great and the good. If you take a look down there, you'll see the whole extra level of it. And panning across, you can see our black country flag flying with pride. Whereas we walk through, I'll show you a little bit more. You'll probably be able to see as well the elevated thing leading onto yet more floors of bureaucrats and officials. Uh, here we can see uh, we've got the, the, uh, the boxes for all the correspondence. Just over to the side here we've got a, one of the exhibition areas where people will contact the Parliament if they've got a particular cause or an interest they can take to these areas. A particularly interesting thing I think over here is the television studio. A multi-million pound investment watched by very, very few people. Uh, but it's still here, yeah, fully staffed and man. And actually, if any of you watch my videos that I do, many of them are done from there. It's really good quality. But it's a big investment, a lot of money spent on it. Across here, as we're walking, you see one of the members' bars and cafes with the subsidised food and so on. And down here, I'm gonna walk you down towards the parliamentarium. So you can see, a, build, a part of the building, which is used maybe once a month, every six weeks or something like that. Uh, it's perfect for holding parliamentary sessions and plenaries. It's just not used very much. They've got exactly the same thing out in Strasbourg, exactly the same. But we go to that once a month as well. So they share it around, it's sharing the wealth, if you like. Uh, so we're walking through here. Now we're gonna see uh, along the sides here, the uh, historic dignitaries of the EU, left here for us all to uh, marvel at and be impressed by. As you walk further down, you can see a very impressive, huge statue, metal statue here, uh, famously, and we'll take you to the look down, Godfrey Bloom apparently once came here, got a visitor's party at the top, shook it from the bottom and the whole thing rattled, uh, but we'll in a minute, we'll just take a look over the edge. You can see how far down this thing goes. If you have a look at that. But if you see it now, at the risk of uh, falling over the balcony, point down there. There's quite some way down there. That blue carpet is where the dignitaries come in through. Everything here, you know, you could have the red carpet trimmed. If it's a blue carpet, you'd rather be either an MEP or a visiting dignitary. And if you do walk on that and you haven't got the right badge, you're in deep trouble. Over this way is the parliamentarium. Probably going to be locked up, so we'll probably just have to peer through the window. But I think it's important that people see the full extent of this. There's so much talk about what happens out here. I don't think people really see it and understand in all its expensive glory how big this place is. Now, if you could look through there, the door's going to be locked for the security reason, but as you can see, an extensive parliamentarium, hardly ever used. And just a little bit further on here, you'll see another restaurant area. Now, 
the reason we're showing you all this is so you can see a little bit about the environment here and about the closeted nature of it, how people, frankly, uh, are so locked away from the real world that uh, the decisions they make they have no bearing on dealing with everyday people. You know, if you, like I do, go back on the weekend and I'm going to the pubs in Dudley, Gornal and Sedgley, places like that, and get some dose of reality, it really brings home to you how insanely closeted this is. It simply doesn't make any sense for people to be this far away, locked away, hermetically sealed as they are. Talking about grand schemes, grand ideas. And that's why it all seems so divorced from reality. Because they're nowhere near reality. They don't, they don't get it.